project here is for this place called Five Points, which was basically the international center for people to come and do graffiti and hip hop and places like that. And it was kind of a revitalization of an abandoned building. The landlord had neglected it, but they got his approval to paint there. About a decade later, basically, the landlord decided that he wanted to build luxury condos there. So he whitewashed it in the middle of the night then destroyed the whole place. So I'm working with some people to do digital reconstruction of the space, trying to get the history of the artists and interviews with them and stuff like that. One of the big things that the destruction of this place turned on actually was whether or not the work there had cultural recognition. Um, and if it did, there would have been certain restrictions on how the landlord could proceed and also his destruction of the art. He's still in court now in a second court case regarding that destruction and it's all hanging on that question of cultural stature. If you see my desk, it's just like a little fortress of textbooks. Um, but then I came here and there were just like all these people talking about like, uh, you know, venture capitalist funding and talking about their decks. I didn't know what a deck was. And so then I discovered that and made some other educational discoveries about this world and it was really transformative. I mean, this program really opened my eyes a lot to the way that things are working in the world that um, a lot of people aren't clued into, um, especially from the so-called culture of expertise of the, the university world. If I could help sustain the legacy of this culture, hip hop and of graffiti specifically, that's a culture that's always had to find ways in and out of erasure. They were always trying to escape other forms of culture that were going to bring them down, right? So if I can have some hand in supporting that, then that's that's what's interesting to me because, I mean, the, the history of culture has always been a history of, of exiles, you know, making their way around. And now we call it masterpieces, so I'd like to look at that history.